So first thing I did is a sanity check on the Hotec Laser SCT collimator thingy. So I removed the two screws that were in the back right there and I popped the front plate out. And then I took this plate and I put it on upside down on my scanner and I made a copy. So this is a one-to-one -one copy of that thing. The next thing I did was I held this up to the light and I looked through the cutouts for the lasers. And I noticed that the paper that um, was put over there isn't quite on some of these holes. Like right there, you can see it's not quite cut out right. So I have a little X-Acto knife here and I'm going to trim out the hole and make it uh, completely cleared all the way through the plastic. So none of the paper is overhanging. Once uh, I'm all done, I, I uh, aligned the holes and re-screwed down. Oh, they're, they're pretty self-tapping screws or self-setting screws, so you really can't mess it up. But um, go ahead and I'm gonna put this back on the tripod. Now, a ways away, approximately, I would guess 10 feet, I set this up and I'm pointing at the wall. Now, if we go over to the wall, we will see that I have this thing stuck on there with some painter's tape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to align it so that the crosshairs are on the same and then the laser, well actually it's just where the crosshairs are lined up and then we'll check the lasers afterwards. Okay, so as you can see, I have lined up the laser the phone is blocking some of the light, so there you go. Looks like maybe the top needs to come over a little bit. Like that. That looks like it might need to go down a little bit. I think it might be too high. There. Okay, now we look where the three dots are. Are they right on the circles? Um, no, see that one's kind of off a little bit. And that one's kind of off. See that? Yeah. Looks like the top one needs to come like up in this way. This one needs to go down in that way. And this one needs to come like straight across. So what I need to do is look into how to collimate these lasers. So looking at the back of the laser after removing the cap, and there are some set screws around in three, you know, a tripod position around like one, two, three, which means that it is possible to collimate these lasers. So here's, here's, here's a good um, image of one right there, a little set screw. So I have to loosen one, tighten some others, until I can figure out, you know, which way to go. Now, the trick way to do it is you get a long USB cable. You put you put a uh, webcam onto the cable and you put it on a tripod or something right next to the target. And then you run it to a laptop that's sitting right next to where you're adjusting so you can adjust and look at the screen, which is what I'll do. 
So as you can see here on my screen, uh, I have a, the laptop connected with a long USB cable, which I mentioned previous, that runs across the floor. And I have a webcam stuck to, or just, you know, sitting on a chair, it looks dusty, but pointing at this. So I'm doing one hole at a time. So this one is pointed at that one. So we can go back here and I can do crosshairs and then the three dots. And oh, I want crosshairs and three dots, hang on. There we go. And then what we have to do then is verify that after jostling everything around, it is correctly oriented. It looks like I need to go down a little bit with the horizontal line. It's a little bit high. I don't adjust the, the plate. That's too difficult. What I will do instead is I will just move this, um, rearrange this so that it's closer. Okay, and I feel that that's better. Then as we can see, the, the lasers are still, as I, as I showed earlier, uh, still off. But we're doing one at a time. So we're doing that one over there first. And that's going to be this one. And then so I will be adjusting the laser by, use, by, by moving the set screws. And then I will adjust and I will run, I will not only, um, cause you can see the crosshairs and everything here. So if I see I'm moving off the line, I have to go and readjust and then come back. So it's an iterative process. It will take a little bit. Okay. I, th I think I got it. So check that out. Check that out. Check that out. We'll go over to the thing itself. There's my dog chilling out. Let's go see. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, now the next one we need to do, we'll do the top, which has got to go over a little bit. So I got to adjust the camera. I got to adjust the, the laptop first so that I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll adjust the camera and we'll do the next one. Okay, so now I have it pointed at the top one, as you can see there. And if I put my finger over it, you can see it's a little bit down and to the left. So I need to go to the right and I need to go up a little bit. Okay. Okay, I've readjusted the tribe or the uh, the mount head things. I've I readjusted those to get it right on because I had to take this label up here. I had to take the label loose so I can unscrew the back part of it. And of course that messed everything up. So uh, we're still back here. And as you can see, it's a little bit down and to the left of the hole. So we were going to now, um, I think it's, it's a flash on, I think the flash, no, I guess not. We're going to go ahead now and uh, adjust that. And again, we have a set screw there, up there and over there. And uh, I'm just gonna start with adjusting that one because it's handy, it's right there. And see, because on this one, when I when I loosened it, it went this way. So I'm gonna loosen it a little bit and bring it over to the line. And then I assume that the one on top up here, I would need to um, tighten it to bring that up a little bit. And it's very, very minute amount of adjustment. We're not talking a lot, I'm talking just a smidgen. Okay. And very, very obviously better than it was. Okay. So now we have to do the bottom, the bottom left, which we cannot see. I have to go adjust the camera. Okay. We're back again. And you can see we have that bottom left one that needs to go in a little bit. So I have the camera set up over there. Although I accidentally turned the light on the camera on, but that's okay. We can still see. And on this case, it's going to now be this one. And it's going to probably be, I thinking this bottom one, I need to loosen a little bit. So we'll see. All right. And with that, again, we look at the laser lines on the crosshairs being on the lines. And then that one is now centered. So with that, we have all of them correctly centered. I still have the thing. I ended up having to adjust this top one as well. Okay. 
So now we can go over here. It's a much better setup there. Okay. So now I consider that to be calibrated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the caps back on and take all this apart, put everything, not, you know, take my setup here apart and now I can start collimating my telescope.